Good afternoon, everybody. Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is December 25th, 2021. I have an unbelievable update for you guys. This is a piece of information you are going to want to see very, very clear and very, very powerful. Before I get into the new information I'm going to share with you, I just want to go over with you why I'm watching January 6th through January 8th. And uh, the first thing that we see is that from the 70th birthday of Israel, May 14th, 2018, it's 1,335 days to January 8th, 2022. We have our 1,260 day marker at the day of the flood. We have the 1,290 day marker on the day of the Omicron variant on November 24th and day 1335 is January 8th 2022 blessed is he who waits and comes to the 1335 days within all of this we see the connection to clade X or clad X exercise that happened on May 15th 2018 666 days later was the coronavirus pandemic declared by the World Health Organization and then we have another 666 days bringing us to the day of the epiphany on January 6th finaling out the 1335 days three days later between January 6th and January 8th 2022 we have all of this information connecting us and the middle point is the coronavirus pandemic declaration by the World Health Organization. The next piece of information is Venus is at inferior conjunction exactly on January 8th 2022. This is the day that Venus transitions from being an evening star to being a morning star and just as Jesus said I am the bright morning star. This also connects us to the white horse of the apocalypse, a white horse in Sagittarius, Venus and the Sun, the inferior conjunction of Venus in Sagittarius, the rider on the white horse with the crown and a bow. We have also connected to all of this other information that I've shared about in my previous videos I'm not going to go over all of this information we do have the connection to uh, Russian Christmas Orthodox Christmas on January 7th the day of the Epiphany on January 6th and Obama winning the war on Christmas connecting us to this time frame then we also have the 2300 days from a host being given unto him when Barack Obama went, met with Pope Francis September 23, 2015 which also happened to be the Day of Atonement 2300 days to January 8, 2022 so we're connected to the 1335 days and also to the 2300 days on the day that Venus becomes the bright morning star now here is this new information that I am going to be sharing with you today okay and I have just a few screenshots I want to walk through here to give you uh, this understanding that the Lord has given to me that I want to share with you and this is connecting us back to 9-11 September 11th 2001 okay which really was the beginning of the angel of the abyss we're gonna see at the end how this is all connected to Revelation 9 11 the angel of the abyss Apollyon is shown to us in Revelation 9 11 and this is the key day that they used to bring forth and to begin the opening of the abyss the bringing forth of their angel Apollyon September 11th 2001 now we're gonna see how important these numbers are 
20 years and 120 days, bringing us to January 9th, 2022. So we have our connection to January 6th through January 8th. And then if we go to midnight on January 8th, we come to January 9th. So it's a perfect conjunction between January 8th and January 9th. And from 9-11, it's 20 years and 120 days. Okay? And so from September 11th, 2021, it's 120 days. We're going to see some very important connections to this uh, relating to the numbers 20 and the number 120. Okay. okay, the first thing I want to show you is this connection between September 11th, 2001 and September 11th, 2021 bringing us to the exact day of the, the beginning eruptions on La Palma, uh, volcano, Canary Islands in Spain, and the 20 year time frame from 9-11 and how this is connected. There's some disagreement on the meaning of the number 20. E.W. Bollinger quotes Dr. Milo Mahan and appears to agree with him that it is the number of expectancy. Ed Vallow says it means redemption. So we have two understandings. One is expectancy. The other is redemption. They're kind of opposites, yet at the same time, they're complementary. Bollinger cites Genesis 31, 38, and 41, saying that Jacob waited expectantly 20 years to get possession of his wives and property before being released. However, this could also indicate that it took 20 years for Jacob to, re to be redeemed from bondage. So there's this, there's this idea of expectancy and there's this idea of redemption together in this number 20. Bollinger also cites Judges 4.3 showing that Israel waited 20 years to be delivered from Jabin's oppression. However, we could also say that Israel was redeemed from bondage after 20 years. Redemption and expectancy together with this number of 20. As I see it, these examples show the negative and positive sides of a number. When viewed as a time cycle, in this case 20 years in length, the time indicates a waiting period and can be viewed as negative. But when seen as the end of the 20 years, that is positive, for it is the time of redemption. We may view virtually all numbers in this way. When viewed as time cycles, most of these numbers would convey the idea of waiting for the time to be concluded. Okay, so we have this idea of 20 being redemption and expectancy, and we see uh, this time cycle beginning on September 11, 2001, bringing us to La Palma volcano, the beginning of the volcanic eruptions, the beginning of the earthquake swarms that began on September 11th. The volcanic eruption did not happen until eight days later on September 19th. But the, uh, the, the this whole, everything that's been happening on La Palma began on September 11th with the earthquakes. Now here is a, uh, an undeniable connection from 9-11 in 2001 to 9-11 in 2021 on La Palma Island. Goes on to say that the Hebrew letter calf represents the number 20. The Hebrew letter calf represents the number 20. Calf is a palm, okay, an open hand in Hebrew. It signifies giving freely with the palm up or covering sin with the palm down, okay? So one way or the other, 
we have calf is the number 20, represents the number 20. It is a palm, represents a palm, either a palm up or a palm down. Okay, so we have a 20 year time frame from 9 11, the Twin Towers in 2001. To September 11th, 2021, and where is the uh, the sign coming? Where is the activity happening on La Palma? See, the number 20 means palm. It's a 20-year anniversary of 9/11. Okay, so we have this very important biblical time for it's a it's a time of divine waiting, a time of expectancy, a time of redemption. 20. It also means palm. Okay, now from the La Palma uh, earthquake swarms that began on September 11, 2021, we can go forward 120 days, and it brings us to January 9, 2022. The number 120 has the meaning of being the end of all flesh. The number 120 appears at least 12 times in the Bible. Some theologians say it is, is, it is a symbol of a divine waiting time. This idea is taken from Genesis 6, where God talks about the wickedness in the world. Genesis 6.3 states, So the Lord said, My spirit will not remain in humankind indefinitely since they are mortal. They will remain for 120 more years. God had shown how sinful his world was becoming and gave his people 120 years to repent until he destroyed the world with a flood. Moses, a man who did a lot of divine waiting during his lifetime, died at the age of 120. This is recorded in the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 31 explains how Moses appointed Joshua as his successor. He began by saying, Today I am 120 years old. I am no longer able to get about, and the Lord has said to me, you will not cross the Jordan. Deuteronomy 31, 2. Okay, so the number 120 is connected to the end of all flesh. My spirit will not remain or strive with humanity forever. They will be 120 years. It's connected to the end of all flesh. The other connection we have down at the bottom is that 120 to confirm the connection to the end of all flesh or the, the end of mankind, the end of humankind, okay? 120 is the number of Adam. Adam is man or mankind, humankind. It's connected to the number 120 the end of all flesh, the end of man, the end of mankind, the end of all humanity, 120. From Saturday, September 11th, 2021, 120 days, bringing us to January 9th, 2022. So we have a recap of what I'm showing you. September 11th, 2001, 20 years bringing us a time of expectancy, a time of redemption. 20 is the number of calf or palm, bringing us to September 11th, 2021. The volcanic eruptions and the earthquake swarms that began on September 11th, 2021. 20 is the number of palm. Then we have, after the 20 years, 120 more days. This is a divine waiting period. Represents the end of all flesh. Bringing us to January 9th, 2022. Now, if we put all of this together, I want to show you something very, very important that connects this. One of the most important details in all of this, okay, as I said, it's connected to the angel of the abyss from Revelation 9-11.
and this number, the exact number of 9-11, September 11, 2001, 20 years of expectancy, bringing us to a time of redemption, bringing us to La Palma Island volcano, September 11, 2021. Then we have 120 more days, a divine waiting period, the end of all flesh, bringing us to January 9th, 2022. Now, what is the connection between September 11th and January 9th? They are both 9-11. Okay, now September 11th is the ninth month and the 11th day, 9-11. Okay, January 9th January is also the 11th month. December is the 10th month. Okay. Remember when Donald Trump said that he was down there on at 7/11 on 7/11 when the towers fell? So there's a there's a understanding about the calendars that are 2 months off. September could be 9/11, it could also be 7/11. Well, January instead of being uh, the the uh, the first month is actually the eleventh month because the calendars are two months off. December is ten, September is seven, October is eight, November is nine, December is ten, and January is eleven. So the ninth day of January is also one one nine. See, we see it. We see a closure nine one one to one one nine. 20 years and 120 days from 9-11 to 11-9 we see redemption expectancy and the number of the palm in the 20 we see a divine waiting period the end of all flesh the end of all mankind connected to the 120 and all of this is surrounding the number 911. Now consider this. Revelation 911. How important of a revelation is the number 911 from the twin towers that happened back in 2001 and really as I said they opened up the pit. Okay? They had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. Now, to give you the understanding of how important this verse is, in the book of Revelation, if you run the number within the, uh, the golden ratio, okay, under the under the code of Fibonacci, the the golden ratio verse in the book of Revelation is Revelation 9:11. It's verse 154 of the book of Revelation out of 404 total verses. This is the golden ratio verse of the book of Revelation. Okay. It's connected to the importance of the understanding of 9-11. From beginning to end, 9-11. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. So the pit was opened on 9-11 and now the end of this divine waiting period bringing us to the end of all flesh is also connected to 9-11 January 9th 2022 so this is why January 8th and January 9th is so important 1,335 days from Israel's 70th birthday. The middle point in this time frame is the day the World Health Organization declared coronavirus a global pandemic. 
Venus becomes the bright morning star exactly on January 8th, 2022. And 2300 days from Barack Obama and Pope Francis at the White House on the Day of Atonement, September 23rd, 2015. And from 9-11-2001, it's 20 years plus 120 days. I pray you are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.